What up, it's your boy Wujo. I'm here to uh, teach you a formula for what to say when you approach a woman. Now normally you should not be speaking to women with respect to a formula. You should just be in the moment and say whatever pops into your head. But I know a lot of guys have problems with feeling anxiety and stuff. So when your mind goes blank, here's a good basic structure for an approach. And I've run this on hundreds if not thousands of women and it generally works. So if you think you have a better idea in your head, go do that. But I'm pretty sure this works. The formula has four aspects. One, a statement respecting her boundaries. That's optional. Two, a false time constraint. Three, a compliment on something meaningful she did. And four, a commentary on that compliment. And I'm going to explain what each of these elements mean. Here's an example of an approach using this formula. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. That's the statement respecting boundaries. I have to go find my friends. That's the files time constraint. But I love your sneakers. That's the compliment. And then the fourth step is a commentary on the compliment, which is when a woman wears sneakers to a club, I can tell she came to party and doesn't give a fuck what anybody thinks. So that's just a typical thing I might say to a woman when I approach her at a club. Again, it has a very high success rate. It generally works for me. And there's reasons for why it works. So I'm going to go into each element individually and explain why it works. The first step, the first element is a statement respecting boundaries. And again, this is optional. You don't always have to say this. But if you're interrupting her when she's doing something or she's like got her back turned to you or just depending on the context you might say want to say something like hey i'm sorry to bother you or hey i'm sorry to interrupt but i have to say and this just kind of eases you in so you don't look like an overbearing jerk one of the biggest mistakes men make when interacting with women at any stage of the interaction not just the approach is that they're just too much they're just too loud, they're too aggressive, they're too pushy, they're rude, they're too horny, they're too desperate, they're too much. So mm -hmm. saying something polite like this kind of just eases the tension, takes the pressure off of her, makes her, just makes it feel a little more chill. Again, optional. And another point I kind of want to make is when you are talking to a woman, when you approach a woman, you should be doing it with confidence, enthusiasm, and energy. So this is to kind of ease you in. If you say, I'm sorry to bother you, and you come in weak and timid, then you just look like a weak, unconfident beta male. So again, this is optional. The next element is also kind of optional, but not really. The false time constraint is an extremely important element of any approach. And basically what it is, is you want to make her think that you are on your way to something better, and you only stopped because you really wanted to give her a compliment because she really deserved it. And here's why a false time constraint is important. Women want to be approached by attractive men, obviously. But the fear that every woman has when a man approaches her is, this guy is going to be stuck. I'm going to be stuck with this guy. He's going to stick around all night and bother me and annoy me and maybe even become creepy or pushy. Most men don't have the courage to approach random women and most of the guys that do approach random women are usually drunk desperate creeps so again women like to be approached but she just wants to feel like you maybe will one day leave so saying saying something just like i have to go find my friends or i'm literally about to leave or i'm on my way out of this bar just takes the pressure off of her and makes her feel more comfortable talking to you. Secondly, a false comes trick gives you an easy out. You know, when you approach a woman, you don't have to close the deal right then. A lot of times I'll show up to a bar and I'll just approach like 10 different women in the first like hour. I'll have a little conversation with them. If they're into it, I'll stick around. And if they're not, I'll just be like, okay, I got to go to my friends. By just opening it up and what, uh, there's one pickup artist, I forget his name, but he would say, just dropping a hook, you set the interaction up so that later you can go back. So, hey, 
I have to go find my friends, but I have to say, you guys look amazing. And then, if they're into it, then you stick around, and if they're not into it, you leave, and you don't look like a douche. And then the last thing is, the last reason for the false time constraint is, makes you look high value and challenging. It makes it look like you're the prize that she needs to fight for, rather than she's the prize that you need to fight for. So it's a weird, irrational thing to say, I have to go find my friends, because like she doesn't care, she doesn't even know you, she just met you. But just saying that I have something better and more appealing in my life makes her more interested in talking to you. It's irrational, it's weird, but it's true. Now, sometimes I say this and guys are like, well, I don't want to lie, why are you lying? You're not lying. The reality is, you should be on your way to something better. You should be on your way to go hang out with your friends. She, a woman should never feel like you have nothing to do other than stand there and annoy her. Like, women can literally sense where your thoughts and emotions are directed to, and if she feels like you're just going to be hanging around and just hoping she likes you, you just look extremely unattractive. So this is not a lie. You really should be on your way to something better. But then, of course, if she is interested in you and she's talking to you and the interaction becomes fun and she's actually contributing to your emotional experience, then you can hang around and I promise she will totally forget about the fact that you had to go find your friends. So, false time constraint. You would be amazed at how much better your approaches go when you drop a false time constraint. All right, the next element is the compliment. Now, women love compliments. They love them because what women seek is acceptance by the tribe. Women are generally much more insecure than men, and they have a stronger need for the acceptance and protection of the tribe. And the way the tribe confers that acceptance, evolutionarily and biologically, is by complimenting her for her contributions. But there's a few caveats to complimenting women. One is, it's better to compliment her for things she actually worked for. If she just happens to have a beautiful face, or like she's really tall, she didn't do anything to deserve that. She didn't do anything for those things. So complimenting her on those things isn't gonna make her feel valuable. Women wanna feel value for their contributions, not for some random trait that they may or may not have done anything for. Another thing about a compliment is that it has to be proportional to what she did. So if a woman has is wearing like cool sneakers, literally all you are entitled to say is, hey, I really like your sneakers. After that, that that's all. If you sit there and tell a long 20-minute story about how great her sneakers are, she's going to know consciously and subconsciously that you're way too interested in these sneakers. Women can have a very strong idea and sense of what they do and do not deserve from men. And when you start giving her compliments she does not deserve, she feels that and loses attraction. So compliment her, but only on meaningful things she did and proportionally. And if you do those things, you won't look creepy because you don't look like you're just a weirdo saying things to her to have sex with her. You look like you're giving a genuine compliment. And women love compliments. Even if she doesn't want to have sex with you, women appreciate being complimented. But then, once you give her the compliment, it's like you've given her like a free sample of your validation, and that's going to motivate her to seek more compliments. If, if she's interested in you, if she finds you attractive and wants to talk to you and wants to start an interaction, the compliment will motivate her to want to push the interaction ahead and do more things for you. So normally what I'll do is I'll walk up to a girl and be like, hey, love your hair, I love your makeup, I love this jacket you're wearing. You look amazing. And then the girl's like, oh, I'm so, thank you so much. You're so nice. And I'm like, oh, you're nice. Oh, wow. You know, and then we get a conversation going. The last element, and again, this element is, is optional, but I strongly recommend it, is you want to give some commentary on that compliment. So you don't want to just say, hey, I love your sneakers. You want to say why. So, for example, let's say I see a girl wearing some like really cool white sneakers. I might say, I love your sneakers. And the reason I love your sneakers is because I can tell when a woman wears sneakers to a club, she came to fucking party and doesn't give a fuck what anybody thinks. 
Now, there's two reasons for giving commentary. One is it makes the compliment more authentic and genuine. It's not like, oh, I'm just a guy saying some shit to you to get in your pants. Or I'm just some guy just making up shit to talk about. It's like, no, I really believe what I'm saying. And I really actually believe your contribution is valuable. I actually really believe you're, it's cool that you're wearing sneakers. And here's why. And then another thing that the commentary provides is that it opens the door to a conversation. So if I just say, hey, I love your sneakers, the girl might be like, okay, thanks. But if I say, hey, I love your sneakers, I can tell when you when a woman wears sneakers to a club, she came to a party, then the woman will be like, she'll have something to respond to. There'll be a dialogue there. She'll be like, yeah, I did. you're exactly right. I, do, I don't give a fuck about anybody. I don't give a fuck about anything. I'm just here to party. And it's like, you got a conversation going. Now, a lot of guys, they'll just say so many weird, disingenuous, false things to a woman just to get the conversation going. They'll be like, oh, do you know where Starbucks is? Fuck that. Just compliment her and be authentic and genuine, and then the door to the conversation will be open. All right, that's, that's my fucking YouTube video for the day. Hopefully, I'll upload these more often. Go to my website, wujo.com, W-O-U-J-O.com. Subscribe, like, and go get laid. Okay, bye.